Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now, I'm going to take a drive out today. I'm going to go to a supermarket and a farm shop and I'm going to get a pie and I'm going to do a comparison to see which is best. So please come along with me for the ride. So, <clears throat> I've been to this farm shop before, it's um, not, not very far away from um, my house and I've reviewed the pies and they were exceptional, the steak pies were amazing. So I'm going to do a steak pie comparison and I'm going to go to m and as well and I've reviewed their steak pies. So I also, when I did the videos, I got a few comments saying why don't you do a, um, a comparison? You know, between like a luxury sort of supermarket versus um, a farm shop. Well, this is a farm shop and it's a butcher's as well, you see. Um, and they do all, it's all local produce. And it's, it's literally less than five minute drive from my house. So it's got to be done, hasn't it? It really has. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for that for that video if you want to see the review of the pie from the farm shop it's Brown's um, farm shop and butchers and it's at Lindle I'll put it all in the description got a bit of a traffic jam up here so I'm gonna concentrate I concentrate all the time when I'm driving and no backseat drivers <laughs> got a pie I've reviewed this before I think I have gastro pub um, steak and old peculiar ale pie five pounds five pounds right I won't um, I'll put it there I think I don't think you can eat it as it is I think you have to eat um, warm it up I'll just I'll just I'll spare you this I'll just have a quick read so having a, having a look at the box, I would, and looking at the pie, I've not took it out. I would imagine you'd better take it out of the box and eat it cold if you if you want to. It doesn't say must be cooked. Um, I know some of the, some of the pies say it needs cooking. Um, so yeah, you could eat that as it is. Um, and and like the pies that we buy at the farm farm shop, you can eat them as they are. The last one I got was still warm. It was cooked, obviously in the morning. And sold, but I'm not going to eat it cold. I'm not going to eat the other one, lukewarm. I'm going to warm them both up because that's how you eat pies. You don't eat cold pies. Well, you eat pork pies. They're cold. Saying that, you can warm them up. Anyway, let's get to the farm shop. So we're just coming up to it. Where that uh, wagon's turning, that's where we're going. sign there for it Brown's farm shop it's just up here it's just here on the right hand side it's off peak time now I've come when it's quiet here it is So I got some goodies. I got I got some Cumberland sausage. I got a ring. I couldn't I could not get one. So I got a pie, steak pie. There it is. It's still warm. Um, two pounds and thirty pence. Uh, it's been baked this morning. It's all produce from the area, local. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, this might seem well one-sided in favour of the, of the farm shop which you know if you can support your own go for it i i know this gastro pub this gastro pub pie is tasty because i've reviewed it it is tasty but 
it's come from far afield it's in, in m s it's in it's local in our all our supermarkets and it's five pounds two pound thirteen buy two of them still have change i got some eggs and i got some sausage as well i got um some cumberland sausage look at that and um, that was four pounds and 75 pence but that is some weight in that and i got some i got some um free range eggs as well from the, from just down the road amazing right let's get let's get home and get these pies at so what a lovely service in there as well the woman is so friendly and it doesn't have it makes it you know a service with a smile it's you know I, I'm the sort of person I, I like to talk to people and how I like to get spoken back to and you know friendly friendly service it, it costs nothing doesn't doesn't it but it doesn't have to make a difference it really does you, you, you know that's how I like to get spoken to and that's how I speak to people <laughs> right the next shot will be at home so I'm back home let's get these um let's get this open and have a look um, I'm going to weigh them both and we're going to talk about them so they're still warm it, it's literally it's only uh, maybe five minutes from my house the farm shop um, so let's have a look at this M&S Gastro like I say I've reviewed it um, so I'm not going to you know go on too much about it we're just going to have a look at it um, um, there's, there's the ingredients cooked British steak 30% the allergens in there wheat flour gluten Barley, milk, celery, egg. Um, and that's how, I mean, you can eat it cold if you want to, but, you know, let's let's warm it up. Um, I'm going to put that on top of my cooker so it warms up as well. And there's the nutritional information if you want to have a look at that. It's 250 grams. Um, all butter, short crust pastry filled with beef steak. I mean, this has got ale sauce in it as well. This hasn't. Um, but this is a five pounds and that's two pounds and thirty pence topped with all butter puff pastry and finished with onion seeds right let's um let's have a look have we got a tab system no uh, i mean it's a nice fancy box isn't it <laughs> i bet it cost a few quid to make the box so there is the pie i mean it does look good it does look good let's be fair and is there any nasty ingredients in there? Can you see? They're all pretty good at ingredients from M&S, to be fair to them. There's a lovely serving suggestion. So, we'll get it out of its foil. You have to... So that's my oven. That's, that's preheating. So I'm going to get it in the oven now. So these are a lovely gift sent to me. Thank you very much, David Winfield, for these lovely scales. So let's pop it on. It says it's 250 grams. 267, that's good, isn't it? That is really good. Um, I know we're going to lose a bit when we cook it, but I'm happy with that. So let's wear this, this one now. The, um, the one I got from the farm shop. Um, 171 so we're looking around about um well over a hundred grams lighter than the um the one from um m s so you to factor in as well the cost of um warming it up um normally at 180 degrees on here i have worked it out around about 25 minutes with preheating on my um energy meter it works out around 13 pence so not a lot really but with this with this cooker this was um very it done half uh, sap the juice this one and it's 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 not very good it's old i'm going to leave this on here just to warm this disc gets red hot that's a good thing about these you can warm your plates up um, i'm not sponsored by this cooker or, or me or this cooker at all um i just they're both good, they're both good air fryers as well, um, and 
they all, you know, they have their own sort of purposes for cooking different foods, I find. But I'll leave this on here, warm up. Uh, and the last sort of 10 minutes, I'll pop it in the oven next to this one. And just let it warm up a little bit. So there's a little bit more spiel here. I'd like to read it out as well. It says, made in the UK with M&S. Assured beef from farms in the UK and butter from more than one country. Um, M&S Ireland, uh, GB sticker there, it says Marks and Spencer. PLC on the box. Yeah. So how many calories are in there? 610 calories. Oh, it's a pie. It's going to be calorific. It's the nature of a pie. Oh. I love pies. Oh, the smell. The smell of pies. Oh, oh, oh. It smells... Oh, it smells good. Um, and it did say, cook the um, M&S. Take it out of the foil and cook it out of the foil. I'm just warming the other one through. Just popped it in. Um, and, and if you kind of like this video, give it a thumbs up. And maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know your favourite pies. Um, I do love pies. Who doesn't like a pie? There'll be someone out there who doesn't like a pie. Right, I'll bring you back in about another five minutes. They're both done. Right, let's get them cut open and let's have a look inside. So, uh, the, the ingredients of this is steak, steak obviously, and pastry. Um, and they obviously, the, I've showed you the ingredients of this. Um, It's um, steak and all peculiar ale pie. So, have a look in there. There is the steak and all peculiar from m and um, Lots of great gravy in there as well. Look at the steak. Plenty of slippage juice to get down. And this is the steak. Well, maybe, maybe I made a, mis made a mistake <laughs> of warming this up. Maybe I should have just left it. Um, but there it is inside. It does look a bit... A dry, maybe I've dried it out. I maybe made a mistake there. I'm gonna chop it again. Oh, look at that! Chop that again. Oh. <laughs> look at this bit of steak in there. Look at that steak. Oh. I'm in there as well. So there's not, not in, there's like completely different to this one. This is more of a, of a sort of a, well, just a steak pie, basically. Um, and if there were, was any gravy in there, um, I made a mistake. It's my mistake. Um, you know, I've, I've sort of, you can see it in there. Look, I dried it out. So that was my fault. Um, and this one is just basically, um, it's had half an hour. And that's what you get inside. There's onion in there as well, by the look of it. The farm shop one. Bit of a long video this, but never mind. It's just that's the way it goes, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it is hot. Mm. That steak is lovely as well. It just broke down. It's not, it wasn't chewy at all. Oh, it's good. I just wish I had to put it in the oven now and warmed it up. Only put it in for 15 minutes. Mm. The <coughs> Excuse me. The pastry is lovely as well. I will put a link in the description. It's Browns at Lindle. Um, to the other video that I did when I did review the pies, if you've missed it. Mm. So good. It is dry, but that, like I say, that's my fault. A load of gravy, a load of mushy peas, pie peas and gravy. <sighs> Now you're talking, and a lot of um, a lot of indigestion tablets to follow. So you've you've got like, did they say onion, onion sort of 
onion seeds on the top, puff pastry, and it's more, it's more of a, it's got a lot more slippage juice I noticed this one. I'll get it with the pastry as well. Look at that. This is a good pie as well, I've reviewed this. I am a lucky, a lucky man today. Mm. <laughs> that is tasty as well. They're both tasty, don't, both don't need seasoning at all. Butter puff pastry and finished with onion seeds. Short crust pastry. It's lovely, it is lovely. And so it should be, it was a fiver. Things are going up in our supermarkets, look at that bit of beef there. Things are going up exponentially in our supermarkets at a ridiculous rate, they really are. The, the farm shop one is more of a, of, of a meatier pie, a meatier flavour, a meatier tasting pie um, than the, the M&S one. The M&S has got, um, you can taste the gravy more. Um, so good, so good. If you are local in the area, give it, give Browns a, Go and, have a, go and have a run in and have a look and go and get some food. For me, the winner is, it's it's the farm shop. It's a no-brainer, a no-brainer for me um, at two pounds and 30 pence rather than five pounds. I know it's a hundred grams less. And I know with the M&S as well, you've got, you know, everything's going up, fuel's going up haulage to, to get there to drop it off is going up it's pushing the price everything's going up isn't it if you've got a local please support your local please do please support your local mm. thanks very much for watching i do appreciate it more of these type of videos to, to follow just touching the surface really aren't we you know now I do I do new food out there as well Um I do all sorts of food I don't just do it you know luxury and I do I, I do every try and do everything I try and do everything and if you do see any new food out please let me know right I'm gonna get into these I'm gonna enjoy them so take care all the best and I'll catch you on the next one